You thought I will never come back? You were wrong. I'm back again <laughs> with a spooky episode of Ghost Hearts. So are you ready to debug your cluster and see where are these ghost parts and why are they not behaving as they have to? So he won't stop and will keep coming with more and more challenges. But if you are interested, then you need to see and learn how to fix it. And I will show you how to fix them. So, cube CDL get pods. There are already a few pods that are behaving like ghosts and they are not behaving as they should. And it's all due to this guy over here. Let's try to see what is happening. So in Kubernetes, when you try to debug, the first step that I told you is the describe. So let's take the first error, which is the affinity error. So let's try to see what is happening over here. kubectl describe pod. And it is saying that the default scheduler, there is no node that has an untolerated date or didn't match the pod's node affinity. So that means whenever there is a pod which is getting scheduled on a particular node, there is a scheduler that comes into the play. So as soon as to, you do a kubectl run nginx hyphen hyphen image nginx, that means the scheduler will come into the picture and scheduler will try to schedule the pod unless and until some people like here will come in between and make sure your pods doesn't go to the right node. And that is what is happening in this particular scenario where this is a fail scenario and your pod will never go into the running state and it will always stay in pending state although the resources are there so there are a lot of resources available on this particular kubernetes cluster but still some bad thing some evil activity has been done on this particular pod and preventing it from scheduling it onto the node let's try to see what is there kubectl get pods hyphen o yaml so let's see the yaml file for this Oh, so we see that there is an affinity selected over here. So in Kubernetes, in the pod spec section, you can define multiple things that can impact the scheduling of the pod. That means you can define a node selector, a node name, you can define affinity, anti-affinity, node affinity, all these rules that will help understand the scheduler where to and where not to schedule the pod in cases. So in this particular case, our evil pumpkin has defined affinity rules. So here it's affinity and in that it is a node affinity. And it is mentioned required during scheduling and ignored during execution. So this one is a required stuff when it is getting scheduled and will be ignored during the execution time. So node selector terms. So it wants to select a node where the key kubernetes.io slash host name should be non-existent node but we do not have any host name value as non-existent node if we see kubectl get nodes hyphen hyphen show labels this gives you the labels of the nodes and if we see any of the node name any of the label like kubernetes.io slash host name there is a certain value to it which is not the one that is defined so what we can do is we can try to fix it so we will now delete this particular pod kubectl delete hyphen f affinity and now i have already updated the affinity yaml which is with the right value so now Let's apply this again. Cube CDL get pods. Ha ha ha. I have fixed this issue and I will fix the remaining ones too. You cannot misguide the Cube Simplify audience. And you who is watching the stream, you should know how to fix the ghost pods on your Kubernetes cluster. So keep watching till the end. Let's try to see the next one. The next one is pretty obvious. Image pull back off. What does that mean? Let's see. kubectl. Describe pod. Oh. If we see over here, it is trying to pull a non-existent image. 
that means there is an image, there is an unintentional bad image put by the evil fucking so that the pod never runs and the cubelet is not able to pull the image. So whenever you run a pod, what happens when it gets scheduled on a particular node? The cubelet talks to the container runtime interface and tries to start the container by pulling the image and starting the container using the CRI. In this particular case, the pull is failing because there is no such image like this. So let's try to fix it and put a right image over here. Instead of the non-existent image, we'll use our favorite one, Nginx. kubectl apply hyphen f, the file that we just edited. Image got configured, kubectl get pods. Yes, we fixed the second one too. Now the last one is remaining and this is not becoming happy, but you will be happy because you will be able to learn something more interesting now. Let's try to describe the last one. kubectl describe pod. And again, we have the same error. Either it's an untolerated taint or there is no matching node affinity or there is some issue that the scheduler is failing. And you can see the scale up is not triggered because the pod doesn't require the scale up. The resources are sufficient for this particular pod to be scheduled. So let's do kubectl get pods hyphen oyaml. And if we go up, the pod looks simple. What is the issue then? Why it is not getting scheduled? Let's see on which node it is there. kubectl get pods hyphen o y. This pod is not getting scheduled on any node. Why is this happening? How do we know now how to fix this? So let's do again kubectl describe and see the YAML if we get something suspicious. We can see that there is a node selector. So we want this pod to be scheduled on this particular node. Okay, so what is happening on this node? So let's see. kubectl get node hyphen hyphen show labels. Hmm, everything looks fine over here. What could be the reason? Then we describe the node. kubectl describe node and see if there is anything fishy over there. This evil pump thing has made this one pretty hard. If we scroll up, we'll be able to see a small thing. Ooh, taints. And the key value is no schedule. So it has a taint. And in Kubernetes, there is a concept of taint. If the node has a taint and the pod is going to be scheduled on this particular node without a toleration, then the pod will not get scheduled. Since the pod is scheduled on this node and this node is having a taint, so we need to make sure that we need to add the toleration to the pod. So let's see how to add that. Cat, this is how you add the toleration. In the spec section, you mentioned tolerations. You give the key as key, and in that you have equal value was value and effect is no schedule. How do I know that? You can scroll up again and you can see the key is key, value is value, and the effect is no schedule. So let's pick this now. kubectl get pods. And we can see the pod is running. So we can remove the other one. So we can see that the pod is running. kubectl get pods. All the pods that were in not running state or pending state are now running and we have fixed that. Let's see if the any pump thing can come with some more scenarios. So you have to make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press that bell icon so that you do not miss this spooky series by Cube Simplifier. This is something new and interesting. So you better check that out or you get haunted for the next whole week. See you in the next one.